Stampers and welcome to Laura's Stamp Pad. Today I'm showing you this beautiful Stars and Stripes card. I saw this sample um, on a demonstrator uh, Facebook page from a fellow demonstrator, Carrie, I'll probably butcher her last name, Baglau. Um, I'll leave a link down below for her, but she had this sample and I just had to recreate it. It is so amazing looking. You can see I have heat embossed my stars and she actually used the um, star confetti punch and did silver foil paper, but I, um, I don't have that punch and so I actually used the tin of cards stamp set and I used that little bitty star there and I heat embossed them. Now, you can only fit so many stars. If you really wanted to do all of the stars, you could probably plan for that. Um, but I just kind of did a piece and then crammed in as many stars as I could. So um, with a little bit more planning, you could probably get that uh, to be a little bit uh, more prepared out there and maybe look like a true flag. But I kind of just smashed in as many stars as I could. And this actually uses the Swirly Scribbles Thinlet dies. So that is this set here. So it's got these little um, like wreath swirls and squiggles and there's actually two here. There's a smaller one and a bigger one and then some flowers, some leaves, and then the main image that we used is this one. So I used this image and you can see, I can kind of cover it up there. Like see how I did one, two, and then a half a one. And I also use this to create my swoops on my navy blue. So you will need three real red. You could always use cherry cobbler if you wanted to go for a deeper look. Um, so you'll need three of those. So I have mine here. And of course, um, you'll want to save those inside pieces. So I used my Big Shot die brush, which I super, super love. So I use that to pop out all of these pieces. And you'll want to keep all of these little inside pieces too that pop out that are right there to sort of add in in between just in case um, you, know, you have some lines that you want to get rid of. So save those two for whenever it's time to assemble. And then um, now, let me push these aside and I'll show you how I did the blue piece. So here I have um, my multi-purpose platform and then my my precision base plate. So with my precision base plate face down, so it's it's the correct face up for me to use, I'm actually then going to take my die and I'm just going to place it right on the edge. Because I really don't need a navy blue swirl, I just need that little trim. So I'm just going to put it right on the edge there and run it through my Big Shot. Okay, so now we have that fabulous swirl there. Let's see. Now you can see it. See that awesome swirl? So then we're just going to do the other end. And if you want it to be like where they're both like curved down, curved down, then you'll just kind of lay this down as far as you want. And again, this would be the point where if you wanted to do so many stars, make sure that you go a little deeper or a little less and you could really do it however you want. So then you'll just go down a little farther and run it through the big shot one more time. Okay, so here we have that. Oh look, it already kind of popped out. And of course, if you're making multiples, then you always can then use the next piece and just do another one down farther. So you have these two pieces, and then of course you can pop that out of, um, of there, and then you could do it and do little blue swirls too for another project. So definitely don't get rid of that. You'll want to use that for another project um, since you'll be making that just to get this one. So then I have my flat edge here and I'm just gonna trim on this edge. And you can do it, um, you know, like as far in or out that you want, depending on how big you want your little swoop to go. So there, I just trimmed it off and then you'll have that there. And to adhere this to my card, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I did that. So let's just set that a little bit aside. Of course you'll wanna use your fine tip glue pen because that is just the perfect glue for those intricate pieces like this. And I'm going to take the cap off. 
and then I'm just going to add a little bit of glue to the main spots of the swirl. You don't have to cover the whole thing. You'll always want to do those little ends to make sure that they stay down, but of course if they don't, you can always add a little bit glue of glue if it pops up which is super handy with the fine tip glue pen. Kind of get some of those crossroads spots. And then I will lay it down right on my project. And of course it's a little bit longer, so go ahead and just lay it down either flush with one side and trim off the other side or just lay it down um, with the full thing and then you, know, you can trim on both sides. So that works too. Now we're gonna do our second one. Okay, and then now I'm gonna lay this one down as well. And this one I actually got pretty close, so I don't think I'll do any um, middle pieces there, but I am going to add a piece. These are those pieces I told you to save, um, and I might just add that little piece down there and maybe, maybe another one over here, just to kind of fill in down there because it kind of looks, I mean it does almost look like a wavy flag, but it also looks a little um, like it's missing something. You could always add a little piece here since you know you almost have like a little gaps right there so you could always add some pieces there and then now we're going to do that final little stripe piece up there at the top and for the top you really only need like a half so I'm just gonna add glue to about half of this I want to make sure I get all my ends with glue on it Ooh, and I really wish it would have went that way, but we'll still make this work, that's fine. So we're gonna place that down, and so now I kind of have like a little open spot there, which this piece will be perfect for, I think. See how fabulous that is? And then now I can always just turn my card over and trim there right along the white card base. And again, if you're making multiples of this card, then you can always use all your little leftover trim pieces on your next card. So there we have our fabulous stripes for our flag. And then there's the blue piece. Maybe I'll do it this way. And you can either do it flush with the edge or you can do it um, where it's sticking out just a little bit. And you can add your stars to that. And again, you can use your stars. You can use the confetti star punch to do some silver foil. You can hand cut out some stars, um, or you can always use a star stamp, and then you can either stamp it in white craft ink, or you could do the silver embossing like I did on my sample here. So super fun, I'm so excited for this. Um, it's perfect for 4th of July birthdays or um, our military men and women or just anyone. I mean, it's a perfect, beautiful card for any occasion. And I just, I, I'm so glad I found it. And again, thanks Carrie for the great idea. I'll be posting photos of these on my blog, laurastamppad.com. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and don't forget to subscribe if you're new as I post every Tuesday and Thursday. And I'll see you next time. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.